Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Charles Macro jumping back in the fishing planet. Hope everyone is doing well. Shout out to you and yours, man. Hope you, your loved ones, um, are safe, healthy, happy. Prayers up, peace, blessings. I appreciate y'all being here with me today on this Sunday, man. Hope y'all have had a great week. Hope you're prepared for the new week. You know, if, if you're enjoying your summer, um, if you are having a little break, vacation time, whatever that is, or if you're going to work every day, trying to prep for that, man. Hope all is well with you, man. Uh, yes. Um, I've had a good week. Um, there, well, there's been some, you know, ups and downs, some things with family and, and, and um, things of that nature, man. But, you know, all is well. I cannot complain. So if you're here with me, hit that like button, subscribe, share so others can check this out. If you're watching this later, subscribe, hit that like button, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit me in the comment box, guys. Hit me in the comment box. Drop some likes and all of that. So thank you to everybody. Shout out to the chat. Salute to the Elite fan, man. Appreciate everybody who's here. See you guys already talking a little bit, man. So I hope everybody is good. Let me see who in here with me. What's up, Colin? Oh, what's up, Gulp? Gulp. You done changed your name to Fishing with Colin. Okay, that's what's up. So you doing fishing fishing videos. Ah, nice, nice. What's up, Phantom? What's up, Space Pirate? What's good, Space? What's up, Charlie? What's going on? What's going on? Say so you're going to start making cart videos in the UK. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, so you moved uh, connect from Connecticut to NC. Yeah, it's a different world down here, man. I'm in NC, so I know definitely different. I've never been to Connecticut, but I've been upstate a little bit. Uh, so you picked up a Fluga ride, fly ride kit on sale. Been trying that out. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That is what's up. Uh, so you fish mostly on, okay, the Nachaga River. You need a kayak to do bass fishing at the ponds and reservoirs around. Yeah, I need a kayak too. I've been thinking about that myself until I can get a boat or something. Uh, thinking about the kayak. Uh, what's up, Wolf? What's going on? Say when I'm going to go to uh, for the Tame and Kind Monster at Selenge. Um, Soon. Soon. Uh, trying to get back regular. I haven't even visited the new lake yet, but I plan to, Wolf. So as soon as I do, man, I know you're going to come through, man. You can help give me the tour. Uh, I try to check it out before I jump in the stream, man. Or we may just go there on the stream and check it out straight out the gate, man. What's up, Caden? Uh, level 15, you don't have a great ride in real unlock yet. How can you level up faster? If you level 15, just sit at Emerald Lake and farm um, walleye. That's your best bet. You could do some other things if you had more equipment, like going to Falcon or something like that and trying to do multi-ride. But if all you got is a spin ride, Farm walleye, uh, use narrow spoons, whichever color you got. Try different colors, throw straight out, stop and go. Real speed three or two, and you will do well. All right, guys, so look, I'm at White Moose today. I'm going to go ahead and jump on in. Came back to White Moose. Let me show you what I am fishing with. Uh, first of all, we're going to fish for some trout. Now, I got my, my light rod. It's three, the 10-pound, but I'm not going to use that. I actually meant to swap it out for my Counselor 3500, the 23-pound reel, um, and ride my uh, baitcaster, but I didn't. I'm already here, so I'm going to use this big boy rod. Now, this is a lighter setup, so it's probably not going to cast as far as I would like it to, but... um. If it really, really doesn't cast, I'll leave the lake and go change this setup right here and come back. And I'm going to throw out a couple of my feeders. Again, this is a heavy, heavy setup, so we should reel them in pretty fast. Want to reel them in, try to get them in the boat real quick, guys. All right? Um, Here, if you don't know, if you come to White Moose or any of the trout lakes, medium spoons are what you want to do. I got the barbless. You might not have the barbless, but the regular red medium spoon is good money. You also can use the yellow. Any of the medium spoons, even spinners work well. Spinners work well. And then we're also going to use some insects. Any insects. These mayflies, I was going to do a video. on These mayflies are crazy. They are crazy for weeding out just the trout. Um, But yeah, that's what we were using at the other trout lakes in the other streams. So if you spawn right here at this uh, dock, 
this all you need to do if you early, if you just getting a white moose, this is all you need to do. I'm going to start right here. I might hop on the boat and fish a couple spots while we're here, but I'm going to show you straight off the dock. All you got to do is come. Oh, let me let me get in the uh, friend zone. If you want to come through, if you're on PC Stain, come on through. You know how we do. Hey, what's up, Poppy? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, we'll say you be right back. Got a vacuum. Okay. All right. Do that, man. We'll be here. Hey, you say, hey, how is using a nano spoon? It casts too short and you can't add weights. Yeah, the nano spoon is a really, really lightweight uh, uh, lure. All you can do is just try to use a light setup with it or just throw it short um, and deal with it throwing short. But it's really no way around it, unfortunately. Um, but it does work well on the lake if you can just get it out as far as you need to. Uh, say, do the purple barbless narrow spoon. There you go. The purple barbless narrow spoon. That's another uh, really good thing you can use. I am not. Oh, man, I'm not hearing anything. Sometimes my sound be acting up. I did a fresh reboot, but I'm, I don't know if I'm going to hear my beeping or not. We shall see. We shall see. If not, I'm going to just have to watch the lights. I'm going to have to watch the lights, guys. Say so you good. Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, uh, Well, my son, he been, his stomach been feeling a little upset. So, you know, we've been dealing with some some young two to three year old. You know, he two, but the little two year old issues with his stomach, man. It, it, it ain't been going well when he been eating and bringing it out. You know what I mean? So, um. Other than that, and trying to make him feel better, um, all has been well. All has been well. Can I complain? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got my big boy set up, so we're going to reel these in pretty fast. We should reel these in, even if we get that uni. I'm going to see if I can get a uni. Of course. I got my spots here again. I got to do an updated hotspot vid showing how you work these jammies. But y'all will see it here in the stream, man. Um, let's see. You try it. Say you plan Fishing Planet and the bite alarm scared you. <laughs> Three year old, the light little devil. <laughs> yeah, man. And he he's two, but yeah, he's right there at that three-year-old mark. And yes, he is just ooh always into something, always into something. If it get too quiet, you definitely gotta start looking out to see what he is doing. But that's my little guy, though, man. I love him to death. That is my little guy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch the lights because yeah, my sound ain't ain't hitting. My uh, I have a audio interface that I've had for years because I've always done music and things of that nature. And I think it's getting old. Sometimes it kicks in, sometimes it doesn't where I have to restart my computer. So I'm gonna have to buy a replacement. But yeah, if you throw right out here in this area where I'm casting, I got a six, I, I might try it. I feel like that's too big. But since you do, it's that 44 pounders. I, yeah, cause it's not casting as far as I would like. Hey, okay, okay, sound is working. I can hear it. I can hear it. It was just quiet. Hey, hey, what's up, Corey? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's see what we have here. I needed to fast forward the time, actually. Yeah, it's really this thing. That a burbot. Nah, it's a lake trout. Got us a lake trout, 10 pounder. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I caught a uh I caught me a bass today. I might show y'all that. I went fishing at uh my pond and uh caught me one using a popper. I had this big popper. I used to think certain lure were too big um until I really, really got back active uh with my fishing and and yeah, bass, them largemouth, man, they'll bite anything. Things you think are too large for that fish, they will get it. So uh, I had this, this like, decent-sized popper, and I went on and pulled that thing out. And yomp, he got him. He caught him in the bottom of the mouth. Outside is 
uh, mouth. Uh, let's see when we're gonna do Xbox Series on Fishing Planet. Hopefully soon. That's something I've really been meaning to do. I just haven't got on the box or the uh the PS uh playing like that. But that is something that yeah, I've been really hoping to do. I jumped on it one time to test it out, and I, my level is so low. It's like ah oh, man, I'm starting over, starting over. From day one, I think I was at about like level six, maybe eight. Yeah, yeah. It's different when you almost, you know, the top level. What's up, Outlaw? What's going on? What's going on? So you had Naharan? Hey, we did Naharan a, a few streams ago. Actually, I like to start there. When I do my stream, but I'm comparing it to IRL, I like to start at Naharan since, you know, North Carolina's home. A large Mike will bite a brick if it even thinks it tastes good. <laughs> right, right. What's up, Every? Hey, you right about that. You right about that. Uh, yeah, because we talking about a long time ago. Yeah, man. Hey, life, you know, life. Um, Also at Naharan, catching flatheads nonstop. Nice. Now, Colin, you said you're doing a uh, IRL fishing channel now. That's what fishing with Colin is. How's that going, man? I'm going to have to check you out. Yeah, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to upload my uh, my catches to the Discord real quick. I've been doing some IRL fishing. I got me a harness for my phone, but I didn't. I ain't worn my last couple of times, but I still, of course, take a picture of my catch. And so where you be fishing? You got a pond, you fishing lakes, you fishing on the boat, you fishing from the bank. How you doing it? Boat fishing or bank fishing? Twitch this jammy. I might have to put this six out on here just because it's heavier. This spoon a little too light for this setup. Yeah, that's that's all I have access to right now is the bank. So yeah, I'm continuing on with that bank fishing. And it's it's challenging trying to find and hit those spots from the bank. You got a lot more uh, wiggle room on a boat. Oh, this six eye is still too light. Let's see how far the cast. It cast a lot further just because it got more weight on it. But I need to get my uh, my lighter set up. Uh, so you have a boat. You live in Pennsylvania. Okay. You go to Ohio where uh, your camp is. So the boat in the bank. All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, new monster fish in Mongolia. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get out there, man. I haven't done the new lake yet. Hey, what's up, Brock? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it, man? How goes it? How you been, man? All right, we got us a bite. We got us a bite. Let's go. This one fighting a bit. Come on in. Come on in. There you go. All right, 11 pounder, 11 pounder. 
See if we can get out here deep. That's what's up. That's what's up. How's the land down under? Hey, Brandon. What's going on? What's going on? What's up? B. Brandon. There it is, the fish warming up. They warming up. Uh, I forgot I got a uh, like a 20 pound ride here with me. That ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna cut it. Hey, just caught a uni small mouth, nice. Nice. Hey pirate, what's up? What's up? Um, the the bot should drop the uh, link. I think you can automate it, bro. You know how to automate the Discord? What is it? Uh, exclamation Discord. Will that show the link? If not, um, if it doesn't post it anytime soon, I'll open the Discord and I will post the link. Uh, let's see, how do you make the line stop drifting when you cash and put it on a holder? It always drifts sideways. You get pretty annoyed. Mm, you're trying to stop it from drifting. Uh, there it is. Hey, appreciate that, Pirate. The drifting usually depends on the lake you're at. If if the body of water drifts, then it's it's gonna drift. You can try if you're in a boat to change your direction so that you're going away from you throwing like with the uh the way the water's going. Ah, nice a trophy. Look at that one, a thirty one pounder. And then that way it'll stay straight instead of drifting. Cause it's it's if you're on the bank though. The only thing you can do is try to throw in the direction of the way it's drifting, and that'll help it from not drifting as much or getting a boat and drift straight uh, with the way it's drifting, and then it'll just stay in a straight line, basically. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at this fish. Hey, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. A little picture of that big trout. That trout. But yeah, if you fish off right here again, if you just get in a white moose, this is how you do it. You don't need the boat or the kayak. They do help, but you can fish right off like this. Have a lot of success. You can even catch unis. But I'll jump on the boat in a minute. In a minute, in a minute. Yeah, I caught a nice bass with this popper. Oh, oh, we got a hit. Nice. And he was right there by the <laughs> I caught one coming in right by the uh by the bank. <laughs> Oh, right by the dock. He wasn't going to let that one go. Let's see, summer or winter? Oh, 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 both the lines going. Both the lines going. I'm more of a summer person. I would rather the heat than the cold. Although the cold, you know, it's nice, especially if you got a, you know, a warm body beside you to help keep you warm, you know. Uh, but I'm more of a summer person. I would rather, you know, be able to try to shed and cool off, then have to, you know, ah, did we miss it? What happened? Okay, the game is running. Come on, game. Come on, fishing planet. Don't make me lose my fish. What is it doing here? There we go. Yeah, they have to throw on layers of clothing and whatnot trying to stay cool. Let's go, let's go. Mike uh, said, you got all your monster fish. Nice. Say it gets really hot in Australia. Okay. 
He prefer the winter. Well, yeah, if it get that hot, now it's been getting much hotter here. We used to be like a 80s, 90s every now and then. But as they, you know, whether it's global warming or just the world changing, um, it's been getting hotter. So we have some days where it feel like it's 100. It'll get to like 97, you know, 94, 95. Y'all still might get a little hotter than that. But, yeah, we, we be feeling the heat now. We be feeling the heat. We be feeling the heat, man. But yeah, what's your favorite season? Your favorite season? Uh. Yeah, I'm much more of a summertime guy. I'm going to upload this uh, large mouth I caught. Yeah, I was working the popper, man. He jumped right on that thing. I was working the popper, top water. Ah, that's going to have to be with my next video. I usually, if I get a catch with a new lure, I like to do it on Fishing Planet. And uh, go for a bass. That'll be what I have to do on the next one. We'll work poppers. And throw some other top waters in there. Uh, Bantam say, welcome to West Texas. No water in every day. It's at least 100 degrees. Woo. Yeah. I had some fan come in that live in Texas over this uh, weekend. I visited out there last summer. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. My brother lives in Arizona, so that's similar to that Texas heat. And they always tell me about them hundred and something degree days. Like, ooh, I don't know about that. Even though it's not as humid as here, we get the humidity. So even though it's not quite as humid, yeah, that thing crazy with that heat. I don't know how y'all do them hundred degrees. 400 degrees. Uh, you'll say fall because you can both go hunting and fishing. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, do I like to travel? Yeah, I do like to travel. Um, I do like to travel. Um, I don't get to travel as much as I would like to, but, you know, working on that. You working at <clears throat> that build up the resources. But I, I do like to travel. I haven't been out of the states as much as I would like, but um, even within the states, you know, have been to different states, different cities. I've hit both of the coasts, things like that. Uh, Everett and. You say East Texas where it flash floods for 190 days, then it reaches record breaking heat in the summer. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that's wild. What's up, Woo? Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's see. Again, I'm going to add these to the Discord real quick. Fishing at the same time, wolf. Wolf jumping in. Oh, there we go. We got us another bite. We got us another one and another one. Oh, this one feel a little heavy. Can we get him up out? He feel a little heavy. He fighting a bit, even though this is a very heavy setup. Let me throw down this way. Throw towards the fire. Uh, see, if you ever get a chance to come to Australia, people say there are a lot of snakes and spiders everywhere. But trust me, that's a lot of BS. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know, cause I ain't trying to be fooling up with the with the snakes and spiders like that. Not them big poisonous jammies. Not the big poisonous jammies. Yeah, they do try to act like it's just something you're gonna see on a TV show, you know, with the level of um 
with the level of wildlife or like you said, insects, reptiles that you're gonna see while you're there. But man, if I come visit, man, we're gonna have to get up, man. I do wanna get to Australia one day, man. I think that'll be dope. Said Wolf joins. All right. I'm about to share to the Discord and then I'm going to pull them in. Uh, what channel? Y'all bear with me, bear with me. I caught a nice bass on a popper. I got a whopper plopper, but I ain't caught nothing on that yet. On the whopper ploppers. Yeah, yeah man. Well, let me know what's y'all favorite. All right, Micah, have a good one. Have a good one. Appreciate you stopping through. i see you on the next one, man. Have a great week. I will see you on the next one. Trying to find my uh my channel I'm looking for. That's all right. I'll reshare it to the IRL. IRL. There we go. All right, it's uploading, so I'm gonna find this. All right, Colin, have a good one. Have a good one. Take it easy. That <laughs> gulp. The Gulp Master. <laughs> Have a good week. So it has it all. Okay, desert, snow, rain. Yeah, much variety. Let's see if this is uploaded. I'll show y'all my catch while we in here. So what's your favorite uh, IRL lure or what's your favorite fish that you hunt for oh i don't know where it posted this Oh, <laughs> I posted it in a different channel. I posted it in the Fishing Planet joint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Texas rig is unbeatable for large mouth. I agree. I agree. I always keep one of my rides with a Texas rig on it. Oh, you were saying bye. Okay, all right, Kyle. Look, because I wanted you to see my uh my catches, man. I was hoping you would stick around for a minute. Mark, what up? Hey, what's up, Mark? What's going on? Salute to the elite fam. How you been, Mark? What's up? What's up? Let's see, Wolf right here. Hold on, let me. What's up, Wolf? Hey, Wolf got on the uh the dope frames. Got them fresh joints on. <laughs> All right, there we go. Bass on. Had to find the correct channel. Ah, uh, man, they ain't let me upload them all at the same time. That's jacked up. That's jacked up. I'm going to work on it. Uh, Let's see. How you been, Mark? Uh, let's see, you've been other places. Emerald, 
just saying to be the most profitable with your setup. Yeah, Emerald is the most profitable depending on your level. Per fish, it is. But uh, as you get up in higher levels, you'll be able to catch bigger fish that earn more, even though per pound they earn less. You won't have to sit there as long. And Emerald, you can generate a lot of money, but you got to basically fish from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., which is, you know, a full eight hours um, in game time. You can go other places and fish for a few hours and... It'll be a higher level, but you could probably quadruple, quintuple, uh, sextuple the amount that you catch there. So, But it's going to take a while to get to those spots, and you got to have the right gear for it to work. Let's see. Brock said, so you go after everything. It depends on if you're fresh or salt. Okay. I do enjoy salt water fishing, but I'm nowhere near the coast. So when we go to the beach... um. Okay, we'll say you can also fish all day in Emerald, too. Um, when I go to the beach, you know, we go only a few times a year. and But I do enjoy saltwater fishing as well. Let me try this again. Try this the good old-fashioned way to upload these pictures. Let's see. Okay, cool. Say so you went fishing today. Mark, you say you caught a couple, lost a massive carp. Ah, man. Mark, be on them carps. You been doing a lot of carp fishing this summer? Other than the Heron River would be your best bet catching fish for 400, 500 each. Okay. Uh, you lose it at the bank. <laughs> uh, what do you need for setup for cats? The cats don't get too big there. Like, you should actually be okay. You just need pet food or, like, cut bait. You probably can get, like, medium cut bait where you're at right now. There we go. There we go. All right, we got them uploaded. Got them uploaded. Uh, what am I doing back at White Moose? Just going back, fishing some different lakes. You know, I try to vary it. So instead of just staying at the the highest lake or whatever, you know, we go back and we try to we fishing for sport here as well. You know, vary it up, test out some different lures, some different setups. And see how they do at some of our favorite lakes. White Moose is actually the first lake I, I got an advanced license. So I have the advanced here. Even though you don't particularly need it once you level up enough and you got enough money. But, you know, it was an accomplishment to get that advanced license. Uh, find that Emerald is overrated in money making because Everglades also has great money farming bass. Oh, okay. That's a fair argument. Uh, you can make good money, and there are bigger bass at uh, the Everglades. So, yeah, and that's kind of like real life. You know, the variety of bass in Florida is crazy um, compared to NC. But they on that coast. They got a lot of uh, hybrid-type fish. Yeah, yeah, you can catch some nice fish. Hey, they go crazy with the fish in Florida. A nice trout, nice one, Wolf. Got that trophy. Yeah, yeah, just switching it up, just switching it up. Cotton say you're at White Moose now, farming lake trout. Caught a unit yesterday, forty pounds. So you level forty two. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is a good lake too, White Moose. I really, really used to enjoy fishing at this lake and catching those unis. Hey, I'm going to show y'all real quick what I caught. This is what I caught today uh, before I jumped on the stream. Caught this bass right here with this popper. He jumped on it. Look at it. It hooked him in the bottom. He went for it so hard, he jumped over the, uh, the popper, and it caught him in the bottom of the mouth. Like, boom.
Check that out. Check that out. So he was all right size one. He might have been like two pound and a half, maybe two. Maybe somewhere around yeah. I had my spinner route, and I also had a Texas rig with a uh, with a Senko on it. Uh, nice catches. Uh, so you guys have better freshwater fishing than us over here, especially where you live. Okay, okay. Keon, what's up? What's up? Hey, I had to test that out when uh, one day, bro. When I get out there, we gonna hit the hit the ponds, the lakes, the banks. How you been, Keon? What's been up with you? Uh, space if you have a rod holder just have two of them sitting out for the cats yep uh it's worth noting that walleye and saga are some of the best by how much you make per pound but everglades has overall more weight which is better for leveling so it depends on if you want money or xp okay okay hey there we go got one coming in got one coming in come here trout come here trout there we go Jeremy, yo, say been working the Everglades, caught an 11 pound uni largemouth. Nice. 40 pound uni snook. Yeah, them some biggins. Them some biggins. George, hey, say you haven't missed the stream in months. Hey, good to see you. Glad you made it through. Glad you made it through. Appreciate that, Mark. Like, sub, share, Discord, Spotify, YouTube, Twitch. Hey, you are elite. Yeah, I'm good, Keon. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Oh, hey, all is well, man. All is well. So you can't keep lagging and disconnecting. Dang. Okay, Wolf. Hey, well, you know, it's all good, man. It's all good. I might jump off in a bit anyway. Check on my son. Like I said, his stomach been acting up a bit, so I'm going to have to check on him. But you know we if if you can't stay on this one, man, you know we'll be back on on the next one, man. Hey Wolf, have you caught anything in real life, man? You been out catching any catfish or anything? George said you found a way to farm uni snook. Just use a seven art hook with craw cut. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that seven art hook with craw cut for the uni snook. I'm making a note right now. I'm making a note. Say so you really don't have pines over here, just rivers. They do have pines, but the one you're saying, they're on private property. Okay. And it, it's like that here. There, are, Man, I found a pond that looked like it had so many big fish in it, probably some crazy bass, cats, drums, um... What else? Uh, uh, carp. Ain't no telling what was in that thing, man. It like it was ready and prime, but all over it had private property, private property. Like every twenty feet, they had a sign up. I guess people probably come through that neighborhood. It was in a neighborhood off the cut. I was looking on the map. I kind of want to do that once I really, really get rolling the way I want with the IRL. I kind of want to do like a pine hunter series where I'm at. Show people where some good pines are. But, uh, yeah, man, a lot of them are private. But if you know the certain neighborhoods, they'll have, like, a neighborhood pond um, in certain neighborhoods here where we're at in certain communities. So some of them are public. Some of them, if you just know people. We also have a lot of public parks here. Uh, for instance, in Charlotte, there's Freedom Park. There's McDowell Park. There's uh, Hornet's Nest Park. Uh, there's a park on the south side. Like they got a lot of parks that have lakes at them. Um, I found like two or three new parks that people told me about. If they're not directly in Charlotte, they're right on the outskirts. All the park, well, not all, but a lot of the parks have lakes, and so you can go fish at the lakes. Now, of course, it's gonna be a little more crowded. People are gonna be there, you know, with their bobbers out, their worms, catch a catfish, brim, and things of that nature. And so it's usually a little pressure trying to find the bass. Oops. But uh, we have a lot of public uh, parks that you can go try. And especially with catfish, uh, like my sister, my nephew, some of the parks that we go to that they'll hit up. 
they'll always catch a lot of catfish. Decent size, you know, various various size catfish. If nothing else, it'll be channel cats. Uh, Phantom say, what's the heaviest catch that I've ever caught? Nothing too huge. Like at the coast, I caught a decent sized shark. And I think maybe like five pounds, six pounds, maybe a catfish or something. Like I've never caught anything that big. Most of them are like two pound, three pound. I call like a three pound bass. I'm usually bass fishing. And since I don't go on the lake, I don't uh, catch a lot of huge ones. You got to really be on them lakes and find them good ones. So, you know, maybe three, four, five-ish when I was at the coast some years ago. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, so you caught bass with some baby ones, brim, catfish. That's all you've been catching. Caught a little snapping turtle the other day. Ah, nice. Nice. Yeah, sometimes I throw the worm on and just go for the brim just to catch something. When the bass ain't biting, I don't always bring no worms with me, but or I have to throw like a little the the if you didn't weren't here, if you saw where I hooked my finger, that little crankbait I got, that one'll catch uh brim too, to catch sunfish, you know, and, and bluegill. Because of its size, they'll they'll jump on those as well. Um, but yeah, sometimes just so you catch something so you don't walk away when you can't hook no nice bass, it's like, eh, let me throw a worm out or something. Jeremy. Uh say you haven't really caught a real size like bass yet. Yeah. I hadn't either. Again, I I caught a about a three pounder before. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to catch me a, a six pound, a five, six pound, a, a 10 pound, a, you know, that'd be crazy to catch a 10 pound bass. Uh, so I should do a fishing live stream. Yeah, man. I'm really thinking about it. Again, I wanted to be exciting. So if I like get back on a boat or something, I might stream it, man. And we all still chat. Hopefully, I'll be able to see the chat, you know, because I might just have to stream it and just talk, you know, but I don't know how well I will see the chat. Um, But I do want to do an IRS stream, yeah, and really see how that would look. I would do it at the Pine, man, but, you know, that'd be kind of, like I can say, I feel like it'd be boring because it wouldn't be as many catches. Some days I might get four or five catches. Some days it's only one or two, and I just have to be happy with that, with that one catch, you know. But I think that would be real cool, man. Have y'all ever seen a white? Oh, this is a decent size one right here. Y'all ever seen a watch any fishing streams? Like, what does that look like? Hey, we got the Uni Lake Trout. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. 44 pounder. When you get to like close to 45, that gets you right. Like leaderboard status right there. Nice, nice, nice. Let's look at that one. Let's look at that one. Hey, that's a big ma big mother scooter right there. Boom, boom. Let me take a picture of that for the day. For the stream. Uh, let's see. Can you ask a question? Where can you find the F-shaped tree bark? Is it at mud, water? If so, which one? Uh, they saw you go online on the PS4 a couple times. Oh, I got another one, guys. Let me get this one. Uh, Wolf say you saw me hook myself. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, Wolf, where are those F-shaped tree barks? Where the F-shaped tree barks, Wolf? Or anybody who's in here, if you know where the F-shaped tree barks are, drop that in the chat, man. Y'all help my man out so uh, he can find that F-shaped tree bark. Must be on a mission. Look, a trophy. We call the uni and a trophy back to back to back. We doing it. What's up, Zang? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, so you never caught a bass more than a pound yet. Okay, okay. Uh, your dad has, and uh, there was a small mouth. The small mouths usually run smaller anyway than the largest, at least in my experience. I don't know how big the smallies get. Let's say you broke your ride in real life and hooked the 86-pound alligator guard broke. 
goodness, after the fish took off trying to the net, still caught it though. Nice. That's a nice one. 44 pound trial. Your best catch was a 38 pound catfish. Okay. Hey, when you come to White Moose, man, you'll catch a 44 pounder. If you fish out here enough, you'll catch that yoni. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they are good. Start posting the GoPro fishing videos. Okay. Yeah, that's the other thing I get. A, I got to get a GoPro because I be using my phone right now, and I want to use a GoPro. So I've been looking some of those up on like OfferUp, you know, to try to find me a used one or something so I can throw that on the chest harness instead of uh, using my phone. Even though it works, I want a wider field of view too. Uh, so you don't think you got the F-shaped tree bark? Okay. The tree bark is at mud water towards one of the edges where there's a down tree and rubble. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think if I remember correctly, where that tree is sitting up like this, throw like a, either something like your feeder rod, something that drags across the ground, or it's either like a, a top water lure. It's probably a feeder one. Man, you keep reeling it through there and you'll catch it. I think we did it on stream. If you look at one of my streams, I don't know if you're going for the monster or if it's just the one where you're just catching like random stuff in the lake. If it's the monster one, look at my mud water uh, monster one. I think we did that on the stream. I'll find it if you don't. Just hit me in the comments and I'll, I'll find it uh, for you. Zane said you were on a fishing trip three days ago in Lake Michigan called a 34. Wow, 34-inch lake trout. Nice, nice. At a personal best. I know you was. All right, Zang, take it easy. I'll see you on the next one. See you on the later on, man. Uh, it says the collecting mission. Okay, okay. Yeah, see you on the later on. Let me show y'all. Since I done, since I done brought it up, I'll show y'all real quick. Oh, yeah. See, this was a nice one right here, too. This was a decent one. I know it was at least a couple pounds. I caught that with the lizard. Here, lizard, lizard, lizard. I had a weight on it, Texas rig, and I took the weight off, and it was on. Oh, that was Sub-Zero. Drop that one. I caught that one with a dark. Cinco. And this one's with a lighter Cinco. I think that's like a June bug color. Uh, Brandon, look at all these flatheads Brandon caught. I don't know if Brandon's still in here. He dropped these. Look at them cats. Woo. Them look monstrous. Yeah, I'm trying to find my hooked finger, man. Where my hooked finger at? I wasn't going to put you on there, Wolf, <laughs> unless you want me to. Uh, where is my hook finger, guys? I'm going to show you all that real quick. Show you all that real quick. I think it's back up here. Just in case you ain't see it. Huh, it ain't in there. I don't know where it is then. Never mind. I know I had it posted. Maybe they took it out or something. I don't know. I know I had it posted. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, well. <laughs> so I caught this one. See, I got the little phone harness. I caught this one right using this little crankbait. This is a little crankbait right here. And I caught that. I think I think that's a bluegill, somebody said. And then next thing I know, bam, I caught another bass. I'm trying to take them off. I got the video. I'm going to post it one of these days like a blooper reel. Man, that thing was hooked off in my finger. I ain't going to show this much more. I'm just showing y'all because we here real quick. Let y'all see it while we still here. Yeah, look at that, man. It was all in my knuckle, and the fish was shaking. So I'm hooked. He's shaking. I'm trying to hold him to keep the pressure off and try to figure out how to get it out because I was trying to yank it out myself. So I wouldn't have to go get no professional to take it out. And trying to get my ride up, man. It was it was crazy. It was all a it was an ordeal. It was an ordeal. Yeah, it was something else. That was something else. Uh let's see. Let's see. Yeah, glad to help, Poppy. Glad we could help, man. Uh so you don't remember how you got it, but stuck on a random tree branch. Okay. 
So you can't believe Fish and Planet dropped another map so soon. I'm glad they did that. Oh, guys, why are you talking about that? Y'all know the angler is about to drop too. Let me let me read these last couple comments and then I'm I'm gonna talk about the angler real quick. Cause I'm definitely gonna play that. I think that's gonna get me back excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play that quite a bit. We're gonna have to stream that too. And any of y'all that get it, we can get on a boat together. Uh Mudwater Monster Stream. Okay, you'll check that out. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. If it ain't in there, if it messed around and got labeled wrong, let me know. But that should be the correct one. <laughs> Please post the video. Hey, yeah, I can't wait for the angler either. You know, Fishing Planet is the top fishing game. Like, it's very well done uh, from the re realistic aspect to the gaming aspect. You do still feel like you're having fun. It can be a little grindy. It can be a little with, you know, with the DLC and stuff. You got to put a lot of time into it. But ultimately... Even if all you wanted to do was fish like the first five lakes just to feel like you're fishing, you know, say you can't get out to the pond much or, or you go fish in real life, but you want to fish at home sometimes when you're busy. It, you know, it's it's the best game out there. But as we know, man, competition always drives one prices and two, um, you know, people to continue to make a better game and better offerings. Because if y'all like me, you know, a lot of us have been playing Fish and Planet for a long time. It's a great game, but there are some things that still lack that you feel like could have been in there. Some of them are things that maybe because of the licensing issue with the fishermen and stuff like that. Some of it is just things that maybe ain't on the priority list. And I do feel like that a lot of us spend money, so they, they should be making money. And I ain't counting their money. You know, you, you get what you set your price for for your product. But I am a, a value, you know, or at least getting what you pay for. You know what I mean? But I do feel like people should invest in the game. And, and since it's free to play, it is worth uh, putting some money like you will be buying a game. But, yeah, I can't wait till the angler. With that being said, man, with that being said, I can't wait till the angler drops. I am ready to try it out and see how well they got with the realism and what they have to offer in that game. At some competition. Yeah, yeah. Go look up Call of the Wild the Angler. It's by the people that make Call of the Wild. Now, both of these people do the DLCs, right? We know the, the Hunter Call of the Wild people. They do the DLCs. We know the Fishing Planet people do the DLCs, you know. And, uh, again, could we get bait coins for fish and stuff like that? I don't know. I heard they might bring that back, but I heard they might do another level of monster fish, like super monsters or super fish. To where those fish might get bait coins, but they're gonna be very rare. Kind of like getting, if you're familiar with Call of the Wild, uh, you know how in Call of the Wild you can get those uh big ones. They super rare. You gotta catch like thousands or hunt like thousands of game before they spawn. You know, they might have like super fish and like super duper fish. <laughs> The super fish spine, you know, hundreds of every hundreds of fish, and then you might get a bait coin. The super duper is gonna take like thousands, or you know, it's just gonna be very random. So we'll see. I think when that game comes out and it drives competition and gameplay goes down, I think they'll give us more. I think we'll start back getting bait coins or start back getting things that they kind of overcharging for. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh let's see. Angler might be the new best fishing game that's going to drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Some of the other ones that have come out, they've been just okay. Or uh, the people that made European fishing, they're the ones that made that fishing sim world. They kind of keep cutting and pasting the same game. And there are, like, a lot of mechanics that could be improved with that game. This going to be real competition. Even if it ain't perfect, even if it's some things you like or dislike, Fishing Planet, you might like this one thing more versus the angler. It's going to be definite competition. I'm pretty sure of that because the way they do Call of the Wild, they serious. So the fishing game going to be serious too. Uh, angler drops August. Hey, thought I had some. Okay, yeah. Uh, the angler drops August 31st in a couple weeks. It's going to be 30 bucks, And that's not bad even on the price. They charge for their games. Now, one thing I will say with Call of Hunter the Wild, they charge – but then you still got to pay a lot in DLC. I don't like that, and it's some things they should have included, like that ATV. 
I think if you're going to charge me for the game, certain things should be included. If you're going to make it free, then sure. If you want to charge for certain random things, but certain things should be included with any game you pay for, and it's a you know at least a $30 price tag. So we're going to see how they do with the angler and then how they do with implementing more DLC like they do. But as long as it's value, I'm good. Hey, what's up, MFGT? What's going on? Uh, look like you're in a nice cold area of the world in Fishing Planet. Yeah, I am, man. I'm in Canada today. We in Canada at White Moose. White Moose. Poppy say you let me know if it's online. You can find it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, speaking of comp, why does it keep saying my bait was pulled too far away? Speaking of competition, as soon as Expansive Worlds starts to challenge Fishing Planet, uh, THQ Nordic announces their own hunting game called Where the Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, competition is good. That way the Hunter looks good, too. I've played some Call of the Wild. You know what? Before we before I jump off, like I'm gonna jump off, but I might load up Call of the Wild real quick. Just so y'all can see where I'm at. Um, I might, maybe not. I don't know. I wanna stream it, but again, that's not I'm not the I don't have as high a level or as proficient in caller, I mean in a hunter call of the wild as I am on here. But I be wanting to play it with you guys, man. I be wanting to play with you guys, but I don't be wanting to look like no noob. I don't be wanting to look like a noob. But yeah, that way the hunter looks serious. All right, Brock. Hey, see you later, man. Catch you on the later on, man. Take it easy. Have a great week, man. Uh, let's see. You also working earlier cleaning 18 wheeler trucks, and it's a dirty job because <laughs> they always get dirt on you, get wet. Hey, but I imagine that pays pretty well. That's actually a good little, like a niche, cleaning 18 wheelers. Yeah, that should pay well. Yeah, they do. They do. They overprice some of them. And uh, you should get more. So that way, the hunter, the people who make that, if they don't go crazy as uh, the Call of the Wild people with the DLC, and it's like more affordable with the game, the, the balance is there better with what you get and your earnings. And they do a fishing game? Oh, it's going to be crazy. We're going to have all kind of competition. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. Can't wait to see. Uh, you mainly play fishing games. Uh, don't really play hunting games. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it was just something different to try. Like, I think I caught it on sale. I never played it at first, but I did start playing it and get kind of into it. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent game. They did it well. They did it well. Uh, let's see, play Call of the Wild, love to play. You got pretty decent guns. Now, uh, let me know what you're on, because I'm on Steam, I'm on PC, and I am not sure if it's cross-play or not. I know that the new fishing game, the angler, will be cross-play, but I'm not sure if uh, Hunter Call of the Wild is cross-play. Y'all let me know in the comments if it is cross-play. Okay, okay, it's not. Well, they were able to work it out with the fishing game, just not uh, the uh, the hunter, unfortunately. All right, guys. Look like it's drying up a little bit. Look like it's drying up a little bit, and I'm uh I'm starting to wind down. I'm starting to wind down. See if we catch anything right here. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to shut it down, guys. Shut it down. But yo, again, man, always hit me in that comment box. You know, let me know what you fishing. Let me know if you fishing uh fishing planet or IRL. What you like to catch, what your lures are, man. You know, hit me up whenever, guys. Y'all know how we do. But, yeah, I'm going to get out here go check on my little one, man. Like I said, his stomach been jacked up this uh, this weekend. So, make sure. He's doing better. He's still running around wilding, but, you know, I did. He's he too, so he ain't in the best of spirits when he ain't feeling good. You know, the little ones, the little ones. Hey, for sure. I'm going to keep it 100. 
I run the game. I do it for the love, they love money and the fame. I never change, I evolve and sustain. Microtransactions I don't entertain. Simple and plain, I run the game. I rule the field and I clog up the lane. All right, I ain't gonna keep going, but yes. Yes, yes. Hey, Mark, hit us with a fun fact, man. And then I'm going to go ahead and start shutting it down, man. We're going to have to get up out of here. Going to give us a fun fact, Mark. And appreciate you being here, Mark, man. Mark been around for a minute. Glad to see you, man. Hope you're doing well with the family and everything, man. Uh, Say so you like seeing the pictures of the real fishing, too. Hey, I, I'm going to keep showing those, too, man. I, I enjoy, like I said, real life fishing as well. So I'll keep posting those pics. Absolutely, absolutely. George, take it easy. Take it easy. Y'all have a great week, man. Prayers up. Peace and blessings for you and your loved ones, man. Hope you have a great week. What's the fun fact, Mark? We got to get the fun fact in, man, before I get out of here. What's the fun fact? Oh, man, I missed the fish. What is the fun fact? Okay, so hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. Nice, nice. It won't let you post go. Um, I'll double check your uh, like what rights you have, but you should be able to post it. You should be able to post it. I'm gonna go in here and check now. Uh, well, once I get off of here, man. Not if, <laughs> not if you throw them backwards. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Appreciate that, Mark. Hey, man, I'm going to stream again, Mark. Try to come through when you can, man. If you're not in school and whatnot, come on through, man. Hang out, man. And y'all do the same, man. Y'all come through. Appreciate everybody being here. If you are watching this later, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Share this so others can check this out, man. And, uh, yes, appreciate you here in the stream. If y'all here with me in the stream, appreciate that support, guys. And uh, if you're watching this later, again, thank you for stopping through. All right, guys, so we're going to get out of here, man. Again, prayers up, peace, blessings to you, your loved ones, and you have a great week. Charles Mackerel, I am going to holler at y'all later.